Well, West High will celebrate their 50th anniversary this September. Wouldn't it be great if they had their first ever boys basketball Valley title to go along with it? 23 ABC's Casey Kiernan has our male athlete of the week. The old saying, act like you've been there before, might not apply to West High boys basketball. They've got 50 years of reason to be excited. I'm more happy for the kids than anything. You know, I don't even know if West High boys have ever been to a Valley, but I know we've never won one. You're talking about a school that's been open 50 years. The one seated West beat Selma last night to punch their ticket to Valley. Junior Isaiah Matthews had 20 points and 12 rebounds in an 87 to 63 win. Man, we, we, had a, we had a mission from the start to uh, go to Valley. So, man, we always hyped for this game. We already knew we had to win. We had to, we had to get the W. I told him, Isaiah, if we're going to win this game, not only are you going to have to guard their best player and be able to shut him down, but you're going to have to come through with 20 to 25 points and be able to grab 10 to 12 rebounds. I'm very proud of him. This was his best game all year. 32 was backed up by Jalen Simpkins and others. But the MVP of last night's win might have to go to the Vikings student body. To get the number one seed and to have the show of support we had from our student body, um, my administration really uh, put it out there to get people out to support us. It was so big for us. West will play Porterville on Saturday for the D3 Valley title game. And if they come back to Bakersfield champions, 50 years of Viking history will be made. And maybe it's the 50th anniversary that's calling for this because, you know, I really feel like we have a very good chance. Are you going to win Valley? Yes, we are. Just know that, man. We're going to win Valley. Casey Kiernan, 23 ABC Sports. Yeah, I would say thinking. that's destiny. Yeah, definitely. 50th anniversary. Highlights from West versus Porterville up in Fresno coming up on Saturday night. Tonight at 11, you'll meet our female athlete of the week.